this is on stage at all tomorrow. Okay. This is a witness to history, my God. So, Most who hear rock so photographer Ethan Russell tell a story have a similar reaction. These two panels in the 1969 Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Tour, there are, as I said, there are only 16 people of us on the entire tour. He and his camera had a front seat as music history played out before them. Those pictures really live because they're exactly like what it was. And it all happened by chance. The yeah, former I UC Davis student happened to be in London in the late 1960s. A journalist friend of a friend asked him to take some pictures during an interview with a young Mick Jagger, followed by a young John Lennon, who he hit it off with. The British music press didn't take them seriously as they were taken in America. And I was an American, and, they, and I thought they were terrific. Lennon invited him back to his home. Destiny took over. I took a series of pictures when John and Yoko are falling in love. They're in the show and they're also in the exhibit and they're just charming. You know, he's serenading her and she knights him and they're incredibly intimate and sweet. So they've stuck with me. It's through John Lennon I got the Beatles. And he also got the Stones. He was with the band, clicking away during their 68 and 69 tours, capturing this image that's among his favorites. There is no rock and roll without Chuck Berry, right? And so I love this picture because it's first generation rock meets second generation rock. I mean, Jagger's the headliner, but he's the inventor. No doubt Russell has left his mark on rock and roll as is evident in the Who's album cover, Who's Next? He captured the image just after Peter Townsend left his mark on this concrete monolith. And when that moment happened, I went, that's cool. And instead of, you know, lifting up my camera and looking at my digital thing, I took a Polaroid, which is what you did in those days. And, and I went, this is kind of cool. And these are film cans of water. <laughs> these guys. Because the rest of them couldn't manage it. Right, 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 right. Right. And then we just slapped it together, sent it off. It was gone in two days. Perhaps his most recognizable images were captured in late 1969. For 30 days, he photographed the Beatles recording the Let It Be album. He was also there on top of Apple Records, January 31st, 1969. Well, I knew it was historic, but I didn't have a projection about what it would become. You know, I didn't know it was, they were squabbling. There's no two ways about it. So whether they, but the idea that the Beatles would break up, it was, it was, a, you know, it wasn't Kennedy's assassination, but it's pretty important. It would be the last time the Beatles would publicly perform, but not Ethan. He would work well into the 70s, a legend capturing legends. Teo Torres, KCRA 3 News.